Hello guys, welcome to online web tutor presented by Profit Decisions team. I am Sanjay. We are learning Node.js with MySQL APIs. This is our part number 15. Inside this video session guys, we are going to install MySQL package as well as we will connect MySQL with our database. So if I back to code editor, now let's say that we are going to create a new file, let's say index.js. So firstly, we need to install MySQL to our Node application. So in the simple language, we can install by using npm. So back to terminal. Let's say that npm install save dependency and simply let's say MySQL. Pressing enter. Now, as we can see, we are proceeding next installation process of MySQL and successfully we have installed that. So if I back to editor, back to package.json file and inside this file, this is the package we have installed via npm. So why we have installed MySQL to this node application? So MySQL is package is used to basically means provide the in and out process of queries with our database. It means we are going to perform our node application or simply let's say that we are going to connect our node application with MySQL database where we are going to perform some insert command, update command, delete command as well as select command. So to operate with the database with node-based application, MySQL is not only the single way. Apart from MySQL, we can connect with our node application with NoSQL database, something with the Firebase, something with the Redis and so on. So if I back to index.js, let's say that const simply let's say express and we are going to simply starting a node server or let's say express server so here let's say express let's say const app equal to express here we are creating object and simply let's say app dot lesson and here we need to provide a port so simply let's say const port equal to 5000 and inside here something put and in the second parameter let's define an anonymous function which basically logs a message in the console so let's say console.log server is running at 5000 port and also let's make a route something let's app dot get and this is for the home page it will be a function and inside this function we are going to pass parameters for our request object as well as for the response object and simply let's say response dot send and inside this we did s3 tag let's say that welcome to initial stage of MySQL. Now if we save all these changes back to terminal and instead of using node we are going to use nodemon. In the previous lecture we had seen that what is the uses or how can we use nodemon to our node based application. So simply let's say nodemon app.js sorry this time we have created the file called index.js so let's say index.js now nodemon server has restarted at 5000 port so back to chrome browser reload this page now welcome to the initial stage of mysql now back to editor now let's say that this is the simple actually code we had seen multiple times in the previous lectures now let's say that we are going to load our MySQL package. So let's say that const MySQL equal to require and inside this we are going to pass MySQL. 
Now let's create connection using MySQL. So before that, if I make some formatting to my code and this is something here. Now let's say that we are going to create MySQL connection. So before that, if I back to Chrome browser, PHP my admin, let's create a database something let's say node hyphen db. Now this is the database we have created. Right now we have no tables. So back here, let's say that const connection as a variable and simply let's say mysql dot create connection. Now this is a method which basically takes some properties as an object and creates connection and connect with the database. So go to this method and inside this we are going to pass an object and inside this object we have to put some properties. So let's say that firstly about host name and we are going to use call the local host. In the next we need to pass our username. So I have root at phpMyAdmin. In the next we need to pass password. So let's say that in my case is root and in the next we need to pass our database. So we have created called node underscore db. Now this is the connection details to connect with this database with these things. So if I back to a terminal, now here as we can see that there is no error. Again if I back to Chrome browser, reload this page, successfully our page is working. It means that successfully we have connected. Now let's see and let's check about connection is successful or not. So here I am going to write let's say check connection. So simply by using this variable so copy that so connection and we have a method in our MySQL package that is connect and inside this we need to provide a callback function and after let's say we have some error inside this connection details so it will return that. So let's say if we have some error. Let's say throw error. And if we have not any type of error, then simply let's say console.log. Let's say that we are now successfully connected with MySQL database. So if I save all these changes, simply we are checking that by using connect function. If we have any error, then we are throwing it. Otherwise, we are consoling a log message that we are successfully connected. So back to terminal. Now as we can see that we are now successfully connected with our database. It means that we have valid details. So let's change about the username. Save this file, NodeMon automatically restarts server and it gives some error like error access denied. Access denied for user root1 at the local host. It automatically detected that the username is incorrect or we have some invalid details. So if I back to editor. Now let's change about correct username and if I change something with the incorrect database name again back to terminal. Now inside this unknown database something node underscore dbt. So automatically nodebone is detecting about the connection details either it is correct or incorrect. So if I, if I again make all the valid details save this file back to terminal and now we can say that we are now successfully connected with our MySQL database. So this is guys how can we install and load MySQL to our node application and successfully we can check our connection details. So in the next videos we will see about the queries using MySQL. So inside this video session guys if you went out then please drop your comment. I will give my reply as soon as possible. So for this video session guys, thank you for watching and have a great day.